walk outside, get beat hemp on some last minute stuff. We got them come through for Raising the Bar Wednesday night, Dallas Weekly in the building. Crazy TV shooting. So let's just, let's, come on. Hey, it's Crazy TV. It's your man, Muhammad Dallas Weekly. That's what it is. Talk to him. Hey, what be him? That's him around the beat. Hey, raise the ball for the turn up. Be the ass with anything. Be homie J. Cruz, man. That's been big brother since he came here, man. Be homie J. Cruz, man, here for the turn up. Hey. Already, your boy J. Cruz. We live in the studio, raising the bar. Got my homie on some last minute shit, man. I, I needed him, I hit him up. He coming through with some heat. Be here in the building. We in here. Tell them something. We in here. We're raising the bar. So yeah. For now, everybody, you gotta step it up. Step it up five or six notches. Don't step it up one, two, five or six. Jay Cruz, man, like I said earlier, man, that's been my brother, man. Since he came out here, we connected, man. That's been family. He always held me down. Work. So I came for him, you know what I'm saying? Work. God, I'm down here. We're here. We're turning up. You know All right, so saying? we got a new single, or you just blessing us with some street heat? I'm just, it's just it's some street heat. All right, cool. Like, I ain't gonna, I ain't going to determine my singles, man. Yeah, you know, I feel you're going yeah, to let the let the streets pick them. It. It's, it's called man. Muscle. You got I, a couple I, I big names on it, though. Tell them, yeah. tell them. I got King Louis, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might know him. He's from the Shot Town, you know what I'm saying? I got first cocaine from St. Louis. Ka Kanye West, shout out. To yeah. Shout Kanye shout out King out, Louis. Shout out, whatever. Yeah. So, you know what I'm he saying? He's in the song. And uh, first cocaine, he signed the So So Death. So, y'all gonna be hearing him soon. He got a uh, song, Buster Rhymes. So, you know, it's kind of crazy. Dope, dope. It's different. Camp, you've been in the game. Ricky Bobby was a big, big success for you. Yeah. You've been in the A&R meetings. You've been you've been at the labels. You you've done stuff that a lot of these up and coming rappers, just the opportunity they would love to have. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? I've I've been to two A&R meetings in Atlantic Records, so I've got to experience it. Yeah. Not on as much as on your level, because you you know your level was pretty, was pretty big. Um, look at that camera. Just give him some advice, man. That dude sitting in his in his kitchen right now writing rap. Some guy trying to start off his own label, or just give him some quick advice, man. Man, the thing I tell all artists, like when they write me, I'm, I give anybody advice when they need it. The main thing, you can't tell other people to put you on. You have to put yourself on. You gotta get out there in these streets, you gotta grind. You gotta make stuff, make sure that your stuff is quality. Make sure it's mixed and matched. Make sure everything is clear. You can't go up to DJs with burnt CDs. You either come with, come with them with a thumb drive, come with them with a CD that's got all your labels on it. And you have to get out there and do the work can't depend on people to do it for you. Cause how can you get on with other people doing your work? So you need to get out there and make sure your face is seen, make sure your name is heard, and make sure your music is good. So even if your homeboy says good, take it to somebody you don't know and get their opinion on it. Because your homeboys might not be telling you the truth. They might just tell you what they want to hear because they your homeboys. Yes, man. Yes, so man. Make sure you just get out there and grind, man. Get the streets, get the people, anybody. Grandmas, kids, it doesn't matter. If you got good music, they gonna tell you. So yeah, they gonna rock. I always say, if you make music, people like the plan kind of takes care of itself in yeah, a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah. You know, you still gotta work and stuff, but yeah, you gotta work. You gotta you know, grind. If they like it, they'll let you know. Exactly. And yeah. it'll catch on. Exactly. Be happy the studio raising the bar. You know I'm loud and obnoxious at times, but I don't give a you know what. Give us a five minute break, raising the bar right now. Muscles, the single. We got some bangers. We banging them. Crazy TV in here. It's crazy. Talk Keep about. it locked. J. Cruz checking back in, man. Big shout out to Dallas Weekly, my homie Muhammad right here. Pick up your copy of Dallas Weekly. Uh, we got McDonald's on RB Cullum, Bank of America yeah, on RB Cullum, uh, Minyards. Did I say that right this time? Yes, sir. Minyards on MLK Boulevard, Fiesta Mart, Tony's Place <laughs> Barbershop. I need a fade. DeSoto. So just go pick up your copy. You know, they, they sponsor uh, Raising the Bar. B Ham's going to be on it on this issue and whenever it comes out. That's so right, that's, that's right, how we do it. That's, right. that's how we do it. Crazy TV doing big. All right, Ham, let's talk real quick. Um, the debates were tonight. Did you watch them? Yeah, I actually was watching it. Did you? Watching shut, stop it. Is he telling me the truth right now, y'all? I am. I, Did you watch the debates the tonight? Part, the part that I came in on was when they was talking about the Obama health care. At the end? Yeah. And me too. He, he was like... I call it like the end of it. Yeah. Like the and last Romney half hour. Like, oh, you know, we're, it's, it's raising it. Is he making fun of Romney right, right now? I am. Cause I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I read something on him a while back, and it kind of like... 
kind of pissed me off. You know, what did he say? What did you hear? Like, he was like, you know, black people were back when they were slaves. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been caught. He's, you know, the guy's been caught. But I will say this about Romney. And Muhammad from Dallas Weekly will, will vouch for me on this because we watched it together. Um, I can't relate to that guy. No. You know, Republicans always have stories of how their grandparents, their great grandparents yeah. started from nothing and worked his way up. I get it. So, you're fi you're coming from money, so I can't relate. I, I just can't relate. Even yeah. the Republican convention when I was watching, I can't relate to those people. But he's got a track record for good business. Yeah. He does. The well, man knows how to make money, and he makes good business decisions. So that's cool. That I'm not going to take away from him. When he talks business, I do like. That's, that's I like cool. money. I like that too. You like money? I like good business too. Get that forty-seven percent. But, well, I, but I am in that. Am I? I don't know. Maybe I'll make too much. No, I'm just the, bragging. The thing that I, the the reason why I like Obama so much, because he was like one of the first presidents that was really out in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. Like he he he's in the streets. You always see him. You know what I'm saying? He he's dapping up people. It's not like it's all his security. You know, he also gets you know called a celebrity. Right? You get called what you call, but. <laughs> If the people are calling you that, they mean they really message you, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so not that's, that's one thing I like about it, because one thing I know about me, like, same with the rap stuff, out of all the artists that was out, I had a good fan base because I let them approach me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you was like, yeah, right, right. I was I was the approachable person. Shaking hands, kissing babies. Yeah, so you got to do that to get the people behind you, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, so you voting? Yeah, I'm going to vote. I ain't here, here. Let I me guess, vote for Romney. Me. Nah, I can't do it. We voting on, let me get Muhammad on the spot. Can we get Muhammad on the spot real quick? You know what it is, you know what I'm saying? First time voting. But you, but you do agree with me with Romney. When he talks business, he knows what oh, he's talking yeah, about. Yeah, he's doing but we can't forget the 47 percent. When Romney said, you know, because I got nothing. No, I feel you. Man. I'm you know. reporting. But when Romney said that 47 percent, it's 47 percent of the people that's voting for Obama. Those guys, you know, those guys are, are people who are going to be on welfare and, and people who's going to do this and that. You know, I'm never going to get those guys. Romney, we seems that for, we that forty seven percent that he said he didn't get. It seems like Romney. So it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Beat so, himself a little bit. You know, but on a debate tip, Romney he, he had, them, he had them, some good points. Yeah, he, he had them boxing gloves on tonight. Because he has a good track is. record, even you know, with Massachusetts, how the school system right, out there is right. one of the best in the country. Ain't nothing but Obamacare. You know. What it is. Keep it live. Yeah. We don't just don't talk do garbage. We talk about we touch base on real stuff. Be hamp in the studio, raising the bar. We're minutes away from breaking it. Am I breaking it? I'm yeah, breaking it, right? Breaking minutes it. away from breaking new breaking joint it. muscle. Be hamp in the in the building. Crazy TV. DFW is about that time. Raising the bar, showing love to up and coming artists. This guy don't need no introduction, but the song does. This is brand new, and we breaking joints right now. I do this every Wednesday. Go to BDFW.com, get your info if you're an artist and you want to get on. Hey! Hey, man, your boy be him, man. New single, Muscle featuring King Louie, man, and Fresh Cocaine, man. What's up with it? Hey, Darnell Twan on the beats, Lab Rats. What's up? Turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. You. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm a peaceful person, man. J-Rock even called in and said they'll fight you. Be happy in the building. Where can hey, we get it at? Hey, man, you can get it on Frosty New Mixtape, The Goon Docs. Y'all make sure to go get that. It's going to be at the Latex. We'll have it at the Latex. Latex. We'll oh, that's going to be crazy. That's Latex or you can that. follow me on Twitter. It'll be him. All right, man. Thanks for coming through. Raising the Bar. Go to the BDFW.com. Get all your information on how you can get on Raising the Bar. Dallas Weekly, my man Muhammad, sponsoring this bad boy, Crazy TV, in the building. Damn! J. Cruz checking back in. V-Hamp, we just got done playing Muscle live on air. Joy go hard, bro. All right, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. They be hating, but they don't want to fight them. Yeah. They don't, hey, look. So I'm from Pittsburgh. We know this. I've been in Texas for like two years. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you how big Ricky Bobby was in the bird, bro. 
and that's like that's up, that's up north up. you know we six hours away from new york so it's yeah. not from here <laughs> whatsoever but it was such a big did you ever get to perform there i've never performed in pittsburgh the road did a couple times i think like that I you're talking you could have I mean, no promoter, and, you know. I should have. Somebody should have done it, but you, could, you definitely could have, bro. Especially in the young clubs. I Ricky Bobby took yeah. it over. Like I just, I just came back from Maryland, like in the summertime. So, okay. You know, that just shows how the off of Ricky Bobby. So it just shows how how long it takes people to actually actually get on the song. Yeah. And then do it. Like Funny fact, uh, Britney Spears. Ooh, Ooh baby. Yeah. Is that what it was? Is that what it was? Hit me baby one more time. Hit me baby one more time. It was out for like two years. Before it went big, yeah. it's funny because like your city has heard the song millions of times, yeah, and then a year later it blows, and now it's big again. It's kind of like, oh yeah, yeah, bro, we was we was listening to that song Years a ago. year ago, yeah, yeah two yeah. a year and a half ago. That's just how it goes with like everybody. Yeah. I feel real you, ever, you ever get tired of doing it? The song, the song. Like, it's to the point now where you don't if, you don't put in your shows anymore. I put it in there because I know people still want to hear it, but I don't really do like the chorus. Just do the chorus and then yeah. keep it moving. I do the chorus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Moving, so. I know people still want to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I feel you. It's, a, it's one of those classics, bro. Yeah, so. That's funny. It's you've been my, to Germany. Been, where everywhere. else you been? Where else you been? I've been to Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, I've been to California. Cali. I've actually been to New York. <clears throat> now, with all these paid gigs and promotionals, I'm just trying to get an gigs. idea. Yeah. I paid gigs. Like, Germany was paid. I'm about to go back. Because this was funny. I went to. Uh, West, I forgot what it's called. I forgot the name. It's, it's a hard name, but that is where all the Navy bases are. Okay. Military and all that in yeah. Germany. Well, in Frankfurt, when Waka was out there doing his uh, his tour, all the songs that they played, like the song that they played was Ricky Bobby. And like the whole crowd got crook. And Waka Flock was like, hey, that's so tight. <laughs> yeah, right. So the promoter called that booked him and was like, hey, we want to get beat up out here. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what we said though right now. That's how it works, bro. So. You know, c coming up watching Wiz Khalifa and the label behind him, it just, you know, I say, you know, people see Wiz now, they don't see the work. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's see, how it is with every artist. I was a Wiz goes, fan. I was a Wiz fan before then. Like, yeah, I know. Well, and so and he like had a good that. team behind him. He, had, yeah. he was getting exposure, real good exposure. Yeah, and that's, he's like one of the people I look up to when it comes to the, the work ethic. You know what I'm saying? Like I. I uh, I admire that, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. he, he came from, basically, he did the same thing. He had a song, he put it out, he was signed, you know what I'm saying? He went back down, and now he's back up, like, top. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's the stuff like that is what yeah. keeps he, me going. Uh, uh, don't quote me, but I, I think at one point, Warner, they they was on they had a deal going on, and they yeah. went independent again. And yeah. so, but the way it worked it was, out. What's funny is that's how all of the big names did. Yeah, yeah. All the big yeah. names: Lil Wayne, Jay Z, like yeah. Ti. Everybody did that. Like, even Will Smith. Yeah, no. I feel you. So that's why I was like, <laughs> who is it? Oh, um, who they used to say? Oh, Shaq. Remember Shaq? Um, remember when Shaq put out an album years ago? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, she went platinum. Yeah, he was the, the only. He's the only athlete. <laughs> is that what it is? Yeah, and I couldn't yeah, remember the, the fact. He's the only athlete that put out a, a rap album that, that went, went platinum. Hard platinum. too, man. Platinum. Rappers haven't accomplished that, and Shaquille O'Neal accomplished it. A platinum album. As many athletes have dropped music, he was the first. He's the first one. He went platinum. platinum. I remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. You, remember what G, it was. Who, you can't stop the rain. All the choices were there. Classics were there. He then he dropped two movies. And then he did the movies. He did the movies. My point is behind that is just it's just it just it takes that work, man. Yeah. It takes it's, that. All, it's all about it's all about your work. Was, you know, that's what I was saying earlier. It's all about your bro. You can't never give up. No matter what people say about you, because on the cool to me, I feel like I'm an underdog out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm the underdog. I'm the person that'll do anything for everybody, but I'm not the person that everybody's gonna get that respect to. You know what I'm saying? So I just that's why I just keep pushing and pushing cuz at the end of the day I remember one of your lines uh one of your songs you said it's something in this in the in the sense of I know I'm not the most lyrical guy or whatever yeah. I can't remember the line you remember I said it in the uh in the cipher in the cipher in the you know, M square I'm, I'm not the best lyricist yeah, you said you're not the best lyricist I can admit this yeah. I'm not the best lyricist you know who you are though Yeah but at the same time I can do a song like all the people out here that's lyrics and stuff like that, and my song would be the one that moved the most. 
Oh yeah, well yeah. Because not because of who I am, because of how I, how I do my songs, how I do my placements on my songs. I don't come out and just give you straight something that's going you're gonna like it, but then you're gonna get bored of it. I'm gonna give you something that every time you play it, you're gonna be like, damn, that's, I like that song. Yeah. That song, it, no matter what, it makes me it makes me bother. And I also feel it, it's the team you have behind you. Yeah. Too. It's, Always. it's it's the team, the experience, the the knowledge. I, I see what you do. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. You when you have a song, you don't just burn up 200 copies and, fl and pass them out. You strategically market, attack. Yes. You know you're smart. You're smart. You know. And, and, and I, the one thing I I noticed, like dealing with being in the meetings and stuff, and dealing with a lot of people. Is that you always you can't never burn the bridges? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't. You gotta always keep your connects because right now that's how you get on. Right. If an artist wants to be that top artist, you gotta get that cosign from somebody else. And the only way you're gonna get that is if you got that connect through somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So I always make sure that I'm gonna treat you like you like I want to be treated. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know who's gonna be what. Oh no! Same yeah. thing in the radio business, bro. Yeah. So you know, hear funny story? The guy who put me on. In radio, in Pittsburgh, the guy who gave me my my shot as the PD when he was the PD is the PD across the street. I don't want to say who they are, yeah. but you know what I'm talking about. So two, three months after I get hired here, moved to Dallas, he got hired over there. Small yeah. world, but we had we had an issue, me and him here or there. Yeah. But you know, you just can't burn yeah. bridges. You yeah. Can't burn. And what's funny is can't burn. this was the first station to play my song. First station to play Ricky Bobby? First station to play Ricky Bobby. It's dope. And this is gonna be the this is the first, these are the only people that I come back for no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Like anything y'all ever called me on, I came right there. Like what's funny, car show last year, Vin calls at like ten thirty. I said, I need you here at eleven fifteen. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right. And you made it. You made it. Yeah. I got on stage. You actually brought me out. Yeah, I did. I, did. Yeah. I, was like, I, I don't think I got you this year. I think Vita brought you out. At, yeah. Well, at the, the AIDS concert. Yeah, at the AIDS concert this year. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Just help. Just Be here up in the building. We appreciate the knowledge, baby boy, raising the bar. And he raising it and keeps raising it. And he going to keep it. You know, he check him out on the new single right now with Tom Tom featuring Duro and himself. Yeah. Uh, we just played the new joint muscle. It's just a street joint breaking you off, but it will be on DJ Frosty's new mixtape. Yeah. Shout out to Campus King DJs, Dallas Weekly, Crazy TV. Man, they crazy. Check out that guy live. Yeah. Raising the bar. If you're interested, go on the BDFW.com. Keyword Raising the Bar. Normal English. This will come up. All these interviews will come up. The information's on there. What you need to send it to. If it gets approved, we'll get you on there. Up and coming artist. This is for you. 979B. B Ham. Hey, what it is, man? It's your boy BM, man. Shout out to Crazy TV, man, where everybody's crazy and they don't care about nothing. They're just gonna get crazy and do whatever they feel. Your boy BM, man, what's up?